Um, it's remotely possible that I may say something interesting. Uh, I, I know you've all just arrived here, but I refused to talk down to you. You are going to have to reach up to at least some of the things that I'm going to say to you today. I want to begin by putting drawing in context. Drawing is second only to verbal language as a mode of human expression. Language takes precedence because it is given precedence in education. We all learn language from a very early age. Only a relative few of us learn to draw, and that much later. However, these two forms of expression are intrinsically linked. Nouns and shapes are interchangeable. And I want you to write this next sentence down. <laughs> Nouns are verbal shapes. Shapes are visual nouns. Names automatically invoke images. When I say to you, dog, you immediately possess an image of a dog in your mind. You don't have to think about it. It's an involuntary response. This relationship between visual art and verbal language was challenged in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Modernism, do you know what modernism is? Maybe not. Modernism is a term which connects a variety of artistic movements. Cubism, for example. You know, a little while ago, I was in my classroom and I walked up to a student and I said to her, your work looks very cubist. And she looked puzzled. So I said to her, you do know who the cubists are, don't you? And she thought for a while and then she said, oh yes, uh, they live on an island off the coast of Florida. <laughs> It takes all sorts. <laughs> Modernism rejected art's traditional role. Historically, painting and sculpture told stories. Modernism rejected narrativism and the way art served a literary role. I want to emphasize this remark. Modernism rejected the literary but not the linguistic. You probably don't understand this distinction. Frankly, few do. I've met so many artists and teachers in my life that confuse the literary with the linguistic. Perhaps this is a discussion that might inhabit your conversation about your book later on this afternoon. In any case, the studio classes you are about to embark upon are places where words and images enjoy free association. There is no apartheid in art. Now I want to show you a clip from a movie. The movie is Deconstructing Harry by Woody Allen. And we'll talk on the other side of it. This goddamn lens has something wrong with it. What, this one too? I changed lenses. What are you talking about? The focus is off. I don't know why there should be such a problem. Well, well you check the center. It's out of focus. I've checked all the lenses. They can't all Come be on, short. Come on, guys. Come on, let's move it along. It's getting late here. We've got to move it. Mel on a bench and he's soft. What? Yeah. Where the hell are you renting these lenses? The lenses are fine. 
Holy shit, Mel's out of focus. That's what I said, genius. He's out of no, focus. No, no, I don't mean the lens. I mean Mel himself. What? Let me see that. Get the hell out of here. What are you talking about? I don't believe it. You're right. Mel's out of focus. What? What the hell are you talking about? I said the actor's out of focus. What? How can this be? Is there something wrong? Mel, come here. What? You, I don't know how to tell you this, but um, you're soft. I'm getting a little weight. No, no, it's, it's not that. You're, you're soft. You're, you're, you're out of focus. I don't know why. Is there anything we can do about it? There's nothing we can do. I can't adjust. Just look at yourself. Look at yourself. There's nothing, there's nothing to do. It's sort of you sure? You sure you're okay? I'm fine. It's just, it's, it's fuzzy. It's kind of... All right, look. I think you're fine. Mel's out of focus. He's soft. I don't know what to do. It's, it's so almost four o'clock already. Anyway, why don't we just wrap? We'll wrap and and we'll see what what what, what happens. Mel, now look, I want you to to, to go yeah. home. Yeah. And I and I want you to rest. Get some rest, yeah. rest. and uh, see if you can just sharpen up. Grace, I'm home. Hi, honey. Hey, what's the matter? You look strange. I'm out of focus. Yeah, yeah, you are. Just, just a little bit. You are, yeah. and, and and you look pale. Daddy, you're all blurry. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe you should go lay Daddy, down. I'll bring you some focus, tea and toast in bed. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy doesn't focus. need that. Okay. Kids, come on now, you be nice. What happened at work today? No, no, no. no. Daddy, at first Daddy, they thought it was a camera. Reuben, stop it! They thought it was a camera, then they th then it was it was me. Really? Yeah, they sent me home. It's so humiliating. Did you eat anything strange at lunch? Any shellfish? No, this is not an allergic reaction. I don't know what it is. You know, you know what? I just need to lie down, get a good night's sleep. I'll be okay. You know? I'm sure that's all that's it all. is. I'm what sure it is. You? you know, you get a what good night's happened? sleep, turn in early, and I don't know you'll be fine. The following morning, however, things did not improve. In fact, the situation had gotten worse. Mel was more out of focus than ever. I gotta get to the doctor. I've never seen anything like this.